and it's Holy Tuesday. Say hi. He's not feeling social today. Anyway, random thoughts again. You know, you hear a lot of people say, people are born in the 80s and 90s, we age really, really well. And it makes us wonder why. So I came across a video on my TikTok that was like, probably because of the amount of stress and because, you know, the place is more hot these days and whatnot. But the thing about it, this generation of people work smarter than harder. So, you know, it's like I was also coming across this video that they said, like, um, someone requested uh, 50 sheets of paper and the, the current generation would actually, like, print out 50 copies of paper and just send it to the person, right, without actually having to count it, like how we used to do it. So it makes me wonder, like, really, how, how can we age so gracefully? And I had a video previously that was talking about, you know, probably how we grew up on fruits and vegetables rather than processed sugars, like, now. Because, I mean, back then we barely had, like, snacks to go to school with and all these things, you know. We had your mother go cook, uh, well, cut an apple, put a mango, whatever, in season, you know, um, after you eat lunch or dinner you would have a fruit as a snack you know we didn't really had chocolates and, and the corn curls and all that stuff like back then it was a luxury now you just go you pick up a bag and you have that right and then to getting fast food was was a very rare thing you might have it at least once a week now you could have it whenever you want but then it came to me you know I think it's we dealt with stress differently because back then we did not know what was anxiety, depression, narcissism, gaslighting, um, what, what it call now red flags. I mean, I am not ashamed to say this, but it's only like in the last couple of years, like within the last four years since the pandemic thanks to tiktok i've learned about these things and i think that our generation went through that we, we went through the anxiety but we didn't know what it was we went through the, the depression but we did not know what it was and the nice thing when they tell you how to deal with it is how we dealt with it back then without knowing what it was so when you're depressed you know they will tell you you need to go out and interact with people and talk about your feelings and what's going on with you nowadays people we sit behind a phone for the entire eight hours if we could we just move from one device to another and we might only like come off the device if we're in traffic if we're in traffic we will still scroll to tiktok or instagram or whatever but back then, we would go outside. We would get the nice vitamin D from the sun. And we interact. We played cricket, football, hopscotch, hide and seek, catch. We socialized. When we had depression, I didn't even know what was depression. Anxiety. And so when is anxiety, you know, you're, you're, you're nervous. You're, gosh, you have this fear. And you didn't know what it was and you might just feel a little frightened and you might go to the toilet or something and you swallow it down not swallow down when you go to the toilet i mean like you swallow down that pay and you move on with your life now these people will just stay home they don't deal with it we faced anxiety without realizing we was facing anxiety facing our fears, whether it was that interview, whether it was that teacher, whether it was that bully, we dealt with it without realizing we were dealing with it. And I think that is one of the major factors of it. And because we dealt with it in the way we supposed to, without the medication, without the screen time, without the the um, overthinking caught up in our head, that is why we age gracefully 
And another thing too, we used to, we still hydrate better than, than this generation of people. We, the only thing we used to get was what? Juice and water? <laughs> Soft drink, what's our luxury? Come on, let's be real here. And I'm sure every night when, when we used to go to bed, we used to get what, like a, a cup of Milo or green tea. Back then and then had like, the only black tea you had was Lipton. Down to the red rose was green tea. Now you're seeing red rose and all these other brands is all um i don't know how to pronounce it correct ceylon tea black tea which is some sort of caffeine you know green tea it didn't have no caffeine so it was not wrecking our nervous system nowadays people cannot go without coffee they cannot and on top of that back then we had animals you know even if you were a, an only child the parent getting you a dog and a cat or a fish or something, that is your responsibility. You know, we we only used to what get TV when you're done doing your homework and probably Saturday morning if you're lucky when like you used to watch all them shows come down the road. You know, Sunday morning you're going to church and temple and you got no type for TV unless you come home for lunch and you might see some English show. <laughs> right, that, that is that is how it was back in my day. And then turn the one thing. By the time 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, next day school, lock it off. I honestly think because of how we grew up, we basically aged gracefully. Our snacks and had all these preservatives, our fruits was organic, and even the water in our pipes wasn't like full with so much of fluoride and, and chlorine and whatever other nonsense they're putting into it you know so and back then you used to get sleep you don't need a tablet to sleep so i honestly think that is why our generation is gracefully i could be wrong i could really be wrong but when you sit down and think of how this generation deals with all these things that is why they look older than us you know and and the sad thing is that when you speak to some of these younger people yeah. even though they look older than us they don't have the how to say they're not all around it most of them not all don't knock me right but you know like we were forced to do so many things as young people compared to these young adults now you know, they're, they're, they don't have much responsibility. If it is they don't want to go to work, they can just say, Oh, my mental health is at risk and just stay home. And worse yet, because of this work culture, you can't, you can't discipline them. You can't. I think that is why we grew up to be more, as I say, hard back and dealt with the stress better without needing any medication. So, that was my thoughts for today. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter weekend. Be safe on the road. All you know is I'm well crazy driving. And yeah, that's it. Oh, I forgot to let you all know. We got a home for the ginger male and female that was um, that was available. So yay. Um, unfortunately, though, one of these trees again is pregnant. Yeah, we had to get that get that one speed before she gets pregnant again. So we have a few more babies when they're born. I will post them up. Thank you for those who actually um, contributed, helped, and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much.